Hi guys, it's Angie and Josh again, and we have come back out to Putman County to bring you another interesting place. So, if you all don't mind, take a look at the Bronson Mulholland House. Built in 1854, the Bronson Mulholland House was built by Judge Isaac H. Bronson. It is a stunning antebellum home sitting on two plus acres of green space overhung with live oak and magnolias. It is assumed that Judge Bronson had cypress cut from the land to build his home which is also known as Sunny Point. It is known that Bronson was part owner of the Palaka Sawmill Company. The Bronsons took active roles in the development of their new hometown. Judge Bronson prepared and sponsored the city charter for Palaka in the state legislature. He also positioned that the town be named the county seat for Putman County, Florida. Additionally, he donated the land for the county courthouse where it still stands. Isaac and his wife, Sephoria, had two daughters, Gertrude and Emma. Isaac and Sephoria entertained in their new home. Among guests were William Dunn Mosley, Florida's first governor, Robert Raymond Reed, another Florida governor, and Benjamin A. Putman, for whom the county is named. Sunny Point was described as a public social center in the 1850s. Isaac Bronson died on August 13, 1855, and was buried in a 15 square foot plot at the southwest corner of Sunny Point. On his mausoleum were the words, In his death, men have lost a friend, society an upright citizen, and the church a humble and loving son. According to church records, Mrs. Bronson stayed at Sunny Point up to around April 1860, suggesting that she stayed at Sunny Point until the outbreak of the Civil War. At that time, she probably returned to her home state of New York. Mrs. Bronson died in June of 1874 in Morristown, New Jersey. When Sophia Bronson returned to New York, she became close associates with a Miss Charlotte Henry, who later became Miss Charlotte White. 